Hello everybody and welcome back to Diablo or Diablo 3 should I say. I'm your host Van4 and in today's episode we are going to I believe look for our friend that has been picked up by Magda and taken away somewhere but before we do we're going to just do a little bit of stuff around town like talking to our scoundrel friend here who trained you to fight? My brother taught me when we were younger. He thought the crossbow was the best weapon for me since it would give me time to run away if I botched things too badly. The crossbow is not a weapon for cowards. <laughs> Did I offend you? Shut up. Where is your brother now? Oh, he's still in Kingsport. I expect he'll be there a good long time. Hmm. Okay. That didn't really provide us with much in the way of details, but um, there is a new quest here. <coughs> so let's pick it up. If only I could control this power. I could have saved him. Do not blame yourself. Magda is the one who must pay for Cain's death. Magda and her master Belial. The journal speaks of an angel falling from the heavens as the shadow rises from the abyss. The stranger is the key to all of this. No mere man would have survived that fall, or possessed such a powerful sword. We must find him. When my power erupted, I saw into Magda's mind for an instant. She's fled to the Highlands. You can reach them through the caves above Wortham. You have to know, she'll be waiting for you. I'll be fine. I hope you will be as well, with time. This damned power I have. Uncle Deckard said it came from my mother. He tried to teach me how to control it using his Herodric training, but... It never really helped. He never gave up on me, though. He was a great man. Okay. I'm just going to see if there's anything new. Yeah, there is. I don't fully understand your order's motivations. Why do they take your past from you? Our initiation blinds us to our sinful pasts, so that we might clearly see the future and prepare for the final battle. And how does your order purge your memory? I was chained to a wall and beaten. By the third day, I was mad from pain and hunger. And that is when the whipping began. I was told I relived all of my transgressions. Everything that brought me tainted joy. The whip took away that joy. Then the sin, leaving me pure. Restraint bolsters the weak, not pain. You have suffered needlessly. Don't you understand? The Templar Order is trying to protect humanity from extinction. What is my pain against that goal? Hmm, okay. And we have a new journal here. Uncle Deckard is gone forever. Remember the wonderful times we had together. Always off on another crazy quest. What will I do without him? He believed the stranger was an angel. But he is only a man. I always knew they were just stories. Uncle Decker died for those stories. Okay, and we did pick up a few extra bits and bobs here, there, and everywhere. Um, so let's just put on the stuff that we want. Don't put on the stuff we don't want. And we'll sell the rest of the stuff. Bank what we don't need. Found some interesting things on my latest dig. You should take a look. Like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is this a single hander? It is. I'm wondering possibly whether to purchase it for our paladin. Um, no, I think we will find something for our paladin shortly. I am almost certain. Let's drop that off and let us take the waypoint marker thingy back to here, Wortham Chapel Cellar. Let's head on out. These have uh, respawned since last we played, so we'll pick up a little bit of extra gold. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Oh, now we're. Okay. <coughs> so we need to head upwards. We are heading through 
or towards a cavern, is a I believe, Leia said. Uh, a cavern above Wortham, and of course we have left Wortham behind now. We'll just take a little look around, make sure we're not missing anything. Ah! That looks like egg sacks to me. Yep. Let's say it looked like egg sacks. may seem unthreatening, but their presence should be a warning for travelers. For wherever there are spiderlings, there will be matriarchs. And the fully grown arachnids are extremely protective of their young. The spiderlings themselves possess strong appetites, allowing them to do considerable harm to a cornered adventurer. Now, this is new compared to when I last played this, so... The ubiquitous spider is one of the oldest and most adaptable creatures in the world. It also seems to have acquired an unfortunate susceptibility to magic. When exposed, the arachnids will increase dramatically in size and even cast spells. Due to this hazard, I recommend staying out of dark places whenever possible. <laughs> My queen sings to me. Her music echoes from beyond. Okay. He's a mental case. Right. Air hangs heavy with the scent of terror. This does not bode well. We are going to make our way through this spider filled. Whoa, oh my god, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> yeah, through this spider filled lair, I was going to say. And um, perhaps pick up some goodies. But generally speaking, just make our way through here. I. I'm not a massive fan of spiders as it is, especially not ones in computer games. Even less so in uh, real life, but um, oh, these things are horrible. Each and every crusader was a warrior of rare strength. They had mastered the power of light, of weapon and shield and of self. Each was sworn to live as a crusader and to die as one. Two hundred years ago, they took their apprentices and set out into the eastern swamplands. They were never heard from again. Until now. Well, incredibly, there was a uh, treasure goblin inside a cocoon there. I wasn't expecting it, so um, he almost got away, but luckily I managed to uh, get back in time. And then, oh, look at these things. Bad enough, the spiders in World of Warcraft, but um, these ones, Blizzard have outdone themselves on how just horrible they can make something look. <laughs> okay. Which leads me on to um to feel my wrath. Uh, almost like a story time with Valenfor. <laughs> I uh long long ago I used to play uh, Warcraft with a fairly large bunch of people. And um one of the girls in it was dead scared of spiders. I mean, she had arachnophobia, um, which is the irrational fear of spiders, if anyone doesn't know. Um, much to the point that if she saw a spider, um, and it was, um, obviously it's all psychological, but um, when you have a fear and you really, really, really have a fear of a certain thing, there's nothing you can do about it. If you see one, generally speaking, you know, you can't breathe, um, and uh, you might feel faint, and you might feel sick, and there are all these different things, but this particular fear for this girl, it wasn't nice. Um, her heart would stop. 
she was so afraid of spiders and um, uh, basically the, the story goes that uh, there's basically a dungeon or was at the time a raid dungeon it's a 20, 20 man raid dungeon I believe if memory serves me right it was called Zolgarub some of you might know it from WoW now it's just a, a small area you go through as part of the line of quests don't and I, disturb the eggs oh god okay don't disturb the eggs right fine let's pick that up let's pick that up oh. ah, shoot those two and let's get back out of here without disturbing the eggs. There we go. Done. Um, yeah, Zolgarub. Nice place. Um, it was full of trolls. And each of the trolls had um, an animal associated to them. Um, and basically, what it was, was that um, the animals would... Oh, Jesus, we're going to get caught here. I'm not careful. Um, yeah, so they could take on the uh, guise of an animal spirit, essentially, if you will. And monstrous <laughs> creature. And what would happen was that uh, you would face off against a bat boss, and naturally, she could take on the, um, the guise of a bat and. Um, she had other bats with them. I mean, look at this thing. It's horrible. <laughs> um, yeah, and there was a cheetah, I think, and a raptor boss, and all these other ones. But, of course, what else was there? You guessed it. There was a spider boss. And on the first day that the dungeon was made available, this uh, girl with her guild at the time went to take on Zolgarub, not knowing what to expect. It's, uh, you know, brand new dungeon. They were just uh, in it for the loot, right? And uh, although spiders had been in the game before, she was well aware of the fact that, you know, it was only a game were any spiders within a game but uh, Blizzard as I say they had outdone themselves on how horrible looking they could make some spiders and this particular spider boss was pretty nasty looking um, I can't remember if you can see the uh, see like pictures of the boss I'm sure you'll be able to find them on uh, on the internet somewhere I'll see if I can post a link in the video to the name of the boss itself but in any case um, she saw this thing and uh, all the spiders that went with it and of course her heart gave out and unfortunately um, poor girl she actually passed away but um, I always think of, of the story whenever I am in any area within a video game spiders. So although she may be lost, she is definitely not forgotten. But still, let's um move on here. I think I've probably said enough. I have no idea uh, which direction the exit is. Okay, let's consult the map. Where haven't we been yet? There's a section over here, so let's head back over that way. Quite impressed that we managed to go through almost the entire area and not see the exit door. Right, okay. I think 
it is down this way. He says as he squidges some spiders under foot. Aha! He's got a frenzied shrine going here. This way, perhaps? Nice. And I'm picking up all sorts over here, so we probably should um, stop in a sec just so I can see what we've picked up so far. See if there's any upgrades either to ours or to the Paladin's gear. I don't want to progress too far as I may end up having to sell. Unfortunately, we've got some frozen spiderlings here. One of my least favourite abilities of the enemies. Incredibly, I managed to miss that one altogether. I think they were just elites rather than um, a bosses. Friends, let's say. Minions, rather. That's what I should have said. I can see you down there, little spider. I used to be one of them. Ordinary, untouched, until her voice came to me. Then I knew how I must serve. I must kill the one who threatens my mistress and the dark power that created her. I have been chosen. Okay, strange, strange man. What are you talking about? I can see a rare up there. And this has also got frozen. I don't know what it is about this game. You find one was frozen, they all end up having frozen. Right, okay, let's try and get rid of some of these minions. I really, really do not want to die down here. There we go. Oof. Wow. I think we're heading the right way. Yeah, there we go. My mistress has accepted me. Come oh. close and feel her loving embrace. That's the hermit. Love appears to be a relative term here. Or what is left of the hermit? Get rid of these guys here. There we go. Okay, and I think this, uh, yeah, this seems like a fairly good place to just end for today. Let's just check through our loot first, and then we will end here. So, what have we got? Anything decent? Um, mm, a bit of extra toughness. Yeah, okay, we'll take extra toughness for now. Yeah, and a little bit extra toughness there. What have we got here? Extra toughness, extra healing. Yeah, why not? Um, nice, some new yellow braces. And uh, what are we using here? This one's actually worse, I think. Yeah, so we ignore those. Pants, no, not interested. A, a rare bow, that does look quite interesting. But we will ignore that for now. Um, and. Did you see those columns behind the webs? This place was built by ancient hands. What's he got at the moment? He's got a hundred. I'll give him this. Good thought. Ends up being better. Uh, he can also use rings. I didn't realise. Uh, I sold some rings earlier, but never mind. Not to worry. 
Uh, so yeah, this is where we will end for today. So guys, if you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like. Please comment as well as I love to hear what everyone has to say. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. So it helps to build the channel overall. Guys, enjoy those meals. Thanks and good night. Much love. And I will catch you in the next episode. But until then, take care. Bye.